You know, passing down the music of the past generation is very, very important. Nobody knows that better than Benji Springs. He's the director of bands for Greensboro College. Now, next week, he's directing their jazz ensemble in a concert that keeps music history alive. I spoke with him today about this upcoming concert. Benji, thanks for taking time out today. I appreciate it. This is a great thing. I mean, jazz uh, ensemble at college. I'm thinking about these kids, you know, teenagers and early 20s. How important is it that we keep exposing kids to jazz and, and that uh, medium? Well, the, the music that we'll be playing is primarily big band music. And uh, I think it's very important that we keep exposing these young people to this music. That's the only way to keep it alive. And at Greensboro College, we have a, a a lot of students who just love this music. They're responding beautifully to it. Our rehearsals have gone well. They listen to it um, because of what they've been exposed to in our class, and uh, you'll be able to tell that we've done that work at the concert. And it's very important that they are exposed to it. Tell me a little bit about the makeup of the ensemble. What type of instruments will we see there at the concert? Well, the standard instrumentation for a big band is um, saxophones, trombones, trumpets. There'll be two altos, two tenors and a berry, four trombones, four trumpets. Uh, the rhythm section will be piano, bass, drums, guitar. And that's the standard instrumentation for a big band and that's what, that's what the audience will hear Tuesday night. From a teaching standpoint, is it, uh, is it pretty cool when you see the light bulb go off and they're, they're listening to that kind of music and all of a sudden they kind of get that feel, that vibe? When I hear my students listening on their own, not me uh, giving them an assignment to do so, but when I notice that they're actually listening to big band music, the music of Count Basie, Duke Ellington, Benny Goodman, and the list goes on, uh, because they've been exposed to it in our class, it really makes me feel great that uh, I'm doing my part, they're doing their part to keep this music alive. Well, it's a great thing you're doing. It's one of my favorite genres, too. My father listened to it uh, when I was growing up, so I love it. Good luck with the concert. We appreciate your time today. So this is fun. So he's the jazz ensemble. You know, he's got everybody together. I've heard them. I've been to hear them. Um, they're incredible. These students mm -hmm. really get that genre of music because it's, you know, it's almost gone. If you don't really understand jazz or you don't listen to the big band stuff, that you, you don't find it anywhere, you know, naturally. So it is important to kind of keep that history alive. And I always loved it because my father was of that generation. And so I would hear the Tommy Dorsey and the Frank Sinatra and the Glenn Millers and all that stuff, Dick Hames, and so I grew up listening to a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really listen to jazz per se, but I do really appreciate it. And I, I always, when I hear it, it takes me back in time almost. But you're kind of going to be a part of this, I right? I am, yes. He, so Benji asked me, they're doing a lot of Sinatra stuff, and way before Eric and the Chill Tones, I sang with the Greensboro Big Band for three years. So I'm going to do five Sinatra songs that night. So information's on the website. Check it out.